Well, it raises the question what, what this, this trial means for democracy. On the one hand, I, I think many Democrats would argue that the president needs to be held accountable. But on the other hand, you raise some really serious concerns about impeaching office holders, former office holders, after they've left office, and it could set up a, a dangerous precedent. What does the trial mean for democracy? Well, I think uh, it cuts both ways. On the one hand, the trial means that the members of Congress who are elected in a, in a democracy uh, want to protect the procedures of Congress. The attack on the Congress, January 6th, is really without precedent in our country's history. Uh, the effort to try to stop a legitimate uh, rulemaking, uh, carrying through the uh, acceptance of the slates of electors, to halt that by violence is something that a democracy simply cannot tolerate. It cannot operate in conditions like that. On the other hand, uh, if we want to disqualify Donald Trump from holding future office, the way to do that is through the ballot box. Donald Trump lost uh, the House in 2018. He almost single-handedly lost the Senate in 2020, and he lost the presidency decisively. I'm not especially worried about Donald Trump as a candidate, and I think that the democracy mm -hmm. is robust enough to uh, rebuff him should he uh, come into the list again. Well, there you have it. Professor, we got to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us on Quick Take again. Great to see you this morning. That's Professor Philip Bobbitt. Professor of Federal Jurisprudence at Columbia University. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.